New developments tonight after Uber gives notice to the city saying it will stop service at Sky Harbor. This comes about a month after the Phoenix City Council voted to raise fees for rideshare companies like Uber and Lyft. Now, Uber said if those fees go into effect, it would leave Sky Harbor on January 31st. But within the past few hours, the city hit the pause button saying it won't go ahead with the planned fee increase until the case is resolved by the court. This is a big deal for the Valley. A lot of people want to know what the governor's stance is on this situation. Hi, I'm John. I'm from Phoenix. And how will you change Uber and Lyft plans at Sky Harbor for the future? So I could, I heard it was John from Phoenix, but yeah. I didn't hear the question. How, how do you plan on tackling the Uber Lyft situation at Sky Harbor? Well, I think Sky Harbor is one of the greatest airports in the United too. States. Yeah. It's centrally located. You can always find a flight. And I think people know how I feel about taxes, and I don't want to see them raised. I don't want to see the fees raised on these drivers. I want it be, to be convenient for our visitors and the people that come to visit us, and certainly our citizens. There's some other cities uh, that have done this around Austin, really not appreciating the convenience and safety that Uber and Lyft bring. So I want to see those options be there, and I don't want to see our citizens overly charged for it or to be inconvenient or to possibly even go away. Meanwhile, Phoenix Mayor Kate Gallego is standing strong on this, maintaining the fee is legal, saying this fee is no different from the fee that every other vendor has paid at our airport since its creation. Lyft and Uber have been paying access fees since they began operations at Sky Harbor, the same fees they pay at most every other airport of our size.